In this video, I'm going to show you another approach that you can use if you want to share your slides in a virtual meeting like Zoom, Teams, WebEx, Google Meet, and see your notes, but you only have one screen. Now, this doesn't use presenter view. What it uses is slideshow preview and showing the notes pages in PowerPoint. So let me show you how we do this. I'm going to go to PowerPoint here since I have PowerPoint uh, open already and running. Just readjust the size here so you can still see me. And uh, you notice I have a Zoom meeting running already. What I'm going to do is first set up my notes pages in PowerPoint so that I can read them while I'm presenting. So on the view ribbon here, I'm going to go to the notes master and I'm going to set the font for the notes to be big enough. So I've already set it here to be 20. Uh, the default in, in most cases is 12, which is really far too small to see in my opinion. I'm gonna actually set it to 24 to make it a little bigger. And if you're running out of space for the notes or you wanna make them bigger, again, you can adjust where this text box or the notes sits. You can even adjust the size of this image if you really wanted to. So I've set that up and I'm going to now actually show myself the notes pages. So I'm gonna go to the view ribbon again and I'm going to say notes pages. And what this does is it shows me the notes below an image of the slide. So this is like I'm seeing what I would see in presenter view, except it's not in presenter view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the display that I'm going to look at for my notes. To do this, I'm going to make a, the window for PowerPoint more portrait looking. So I'm going to adjust it here. And I'm going to use on the view fit to window to make this big and to make it even bigger. So I'm actually going to collapse the ribbon. So there's a little arrowhead up here on the ribbon, collapse the ribbon, and now it's even bigger. So that text is now easy for me to see. So that gives me my notes. Now, how do I find the slideshow to share with the audience so that I have all the features of slideshow, including animations, builds, more of everything like that? I'm going to use slideshow preview. And this is something that only exists in Windows. It doesn't exist in the Mac. And the way to get into slideshow preview is you hold the Alt key down and then click on the slideshow icon down in the footer here in the PowerPoint window. And you'll notice what it does is it opens up the PowerPoint slideshow in a one quarter sized window in the top left of your screen. And this is full slideshow. Now it does open it from the current slide. So I'm on slide three, so it is the current slide. And now what I want to do is I want to share that one window in my meeting. So I'll go to Zoom here and say I want to share. And in the window section here, I'll share this window and click on share. Now it's really important when you're doing this that you share the window and the notes page window does not overlap the slideshow. Because if it does, the audience will see that. Now, even though it appears that these are two windows separately, they're actually kind of linked in the operating system, so it will show up. What I'm going to do is, is now I'm now going to arrange my screen. So I can take my uh, videos of myself and the other participants, move them down here. If I want to open the chat, I can go th to there and open up the chat as well, place that down here. So now I have my screen where I am showing my presentation slides. I can see my notes. Now, how do I navigate this? Now, you'll notice that I've moved the zoom control bar over to the right of it, because typically it is positioned here and it would cover up part of the slides. So move it over if you need to. So I'm going to click on the slideshow window so that that has what's known as operating system focus, which means any keystroke that I use will be used in that window. So now I can just use my arrow keys. So I use my arrow keys to start going through the slides, the builds on this slide. And then when I get to the next slide, the next arrow, now what I do is I use my mouse wheel on top of the notes. I don't click on the notes pages. I just use my mouse wheel on top of them to scroll down. And what it does is it will now move to the next page of my notes. I can now see them and I can continue on with my presentation. And when it goes to the next slide, again, I just scroll my mouse wheel. So the, the approach you're using here, the, the habit you have to build is, use your arrows to go through each of the builds on your slide. And when you get to the next slide, then use the mouse wheel to scroll on your notes pages. 
This takes a, a little bit of practice, yes, but you'll get used to it really quite quickly. The key here is, is to not lose focus, take focus away from the slideshow preview window. If you do, for example, if you accidentally click on the notes pages, this is now the focus and your arrows won't apply to your slides. Just simply move your cursor over, click on the slideshow window again, and now the focus is over there. And so my arrow key now will move through each of my points on this particular page. And I got to remember to move my notes pages as well. So this is a great way to use slideshow preview and your notes see them at the same time. And the neat thing about this is this is full slideshow. So if I move my cursor over, you'll notice I have all of the drawing tools. So I have the laser pointer, the pen, the highlighter. I have my uh, tool here to be able to select any slide at any time to jump ahead. Now, yes, the audience does see that, okay? So they will be seeing that, but it's usually because they ask for you to jump ahead. You also have the Zoom. So the Zoom is a great tool in slideshow mode where what I can do is I can click, I can, I can click on that magnifying glass and then use this highlighted area. And when I click my mouse, it zooms in and now I get a hand and I can scroll through the slide. And when I'm done, I just go and hit the escape key and it goes back to the regular display. So you have all the tools of full slideshow available to you. All the annotation, the zoom, all of those tools, which is really great to be able to have when you're presenting. So you can go through your presentation. When you're done, you simply stop sharing in your meeting. So stop sharing. Now I can go to my presentation, the slideshow, hit escape to exit that. And then in my PowerPoint window, if I want to get back to you know, the, the default editing view that I had before, first thing I can do is to uh, make the ribbon pinned again. So I can go, let's say, to my view ribbon. Any ribbon will, will work, by the way. You just click on the pin icon down here, and now the pin stays, the, the, the ribbon stays down. And I can go to my normal view. And of course, I would probably want to adjust the size of this because it's now sort of a portrait type of size. Okay. So what this does is it allows you to share your slides in full slideshow mode with the attendees in the meeting. You are able to see your notes using the notes pages in PowerPoint by using the arrow keys to go through your slides and the mouse wheel to scroll through on your notes pages. You're able to see those notes as you're presenting. So find a method that's going to be comfortable for you, that is going to work for you, and check this method out if you want to see your notes and be able to present your slides to the attendees in a virtual meeting. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.